For my poem, I've chosen one by Robert Frost, a New England poet of the first half of the 20th century. It's called The Tuft of Flowers. In it, the narrator describes going out to a hayfield that has been scythed that morning in order to turn the grass over to dry in the sun, and he reflects on his relationship with the workman who has gone before. The Tuft of Flowers I went to turn the grass once after one who mowed it in the dew before the sun. The dew was gone that made his blade so keen before I came to view the levelled scene. I looked for him behind an aisle of trees. I listened for his whetstone on the breeze. But he had gone his way, the grass all mown, and I must be as he had been, alone. As all must be, I said within my heart, whether they work together or apart. But as I said it, swift there passed me by on noiseless wing a bewildered butterfly, seeking with memories grown dim or night some resting flower of yesterday's delight. And once I marked his flight go round and round as where some flower lay withering on the ground. And then he flew as far as I could see, and then on tremulous wing came back to me, I thought of questions that have no reply, and would have turned to toss the grass to dry. But he turned first, and led my eye to look at a tall tuft of flowers beside a brook, a leaping tongue of bloom the scythe had spared, beside a reedy brook the scythe had bared. The mower in the dew had loved them thus, by leaving them to flourish, not for us, nor yet to draw one thought of ours to him, but from sheer morning gladness at the brim. The butterfly and I had lit upon, nevertheless a message from the dawn, that made me hear the wakening birds around, and hear his long scythe whispering to the ground, and feel a spirit kindred to mine own, so that henceforth I worked no more alone, but glad with him I worked as with his aid, and weary sought at noon with him the shade, and dreaming, as it were, held brotherly speech with one whose thought I had not hoped to reach. Men work together, I told him from the heart, whether they work together or apart. Although Robert Frost did not intend his poem as a theological reflection, nevertheless it speaks powerfully to me in this ascension tide period of lockdown. In this time of isolation from one another, we look for clues to establish a relationship with Jesus, the workman who has gone before us. The butterfly is an angel that points us to a reminder of his spirit and his presence among us as we await the coming gift of the Holy Spirit. It's with this in mind that I've chosen for my prayer the final two verses of Charles Wesley's hymn, Hail the Day That Sees Him Rise which expresses his confidence in our following Christ to heaven, where we shall be united with him and one another for ever. Lord, though parted from our sight, far above yon azure height, grant our hearts may thither rise, seeking thee beyond the skies. Alleluia. There we shall with thee remain, partners of thine endless reign, there thy face unclouded see, find our heaven of heavens in thee. Alleluia. <laughs>